thanks for joining me on, a, on another video. Now, I'm in the mountains today. I'm in uh, Snowdonia National Park and I'm on a bit of a, a geology exploration, uh, which to be honest isn't hard to do in, uh, in Snowdonia, but there's some particular pieces of geology that I'm quite interested in going and having a look at. And that involves climbing to uh, the top of a summit to have a look at some cliffs. So we'll we'll have a look at that in more detail when I get up there. But uh, I've uh, I've made it part way part way up the uh, up the hike here. I'm just uh, starting the um, the steep a bit. So I just wanted to get that out of the way uh, before I started uh, doing any any video work but I've, I've taken a few photos and uh, we've got a hovering cloud base on the tops and sunlight breaking through so it's looking quite promising for some dramatic dramatic scene so hopefully that will uh, turn out for for the good right then I'm about uh, I think I'm about halfway up the uh, the ridge to the uh, the summit of Carnath of Viliast. Um, so, and I'm kind of in the mist. It comes and goes. So uh, I don't think there's. Uh, in fact, if I spin round, there isn't much uh, visibility at the top there. In fact, I don't think I don't think that is the top. I think we'll, that's a false summit, and there's a, a bit more of a way to go after that. But. Uh, the fact that it uh, it is clearing and then clouding up again is it's kind of promising for dramatic uh, moody mountain images with shafts of sunlight coming through so hopefully we'll get some of that when we get up to the top but I'm gonna head to the top and then just uh, sit it out probably put my down jacket on and just sit it out wait for the uh, wait for the right moments to grab the camera and start taking some pictures. I might walk a little bit further along the ridge to uh, to Voilgok because what I had actually planned was to uh, was to take some images towards Trevan across the uh, across the Nam Francon Valley so all we can do is get up there and see what happens and if it doesn't happen uh, it's not the end of the world Right, I am on the uh, on the summit ridge, and uh, wow, what incredible views! So we're looking down into the Nam Francon Valley now. A moment ago, it was a little bit clearer than this, but uh, I didn't have the camera out, so I missed it. But over there in the in the distance, just slightly clearing, is uh, Trevan. And uh, see the sun's actually breaking through over on my right hand side. So these are pretty much perfect conditions. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop videoing for a moment and just uh, get some photographs of these uh, fantastic lighting conditions while they're, while they're still here. So uh, I'll catch you again shortly. Okay, mission accomplished and uh, what a view and what a cliff face. The impressive cliffs that fall steeply from the summit are quite a dramatic sight when viewed from the A5 in the Nam Francon Valley. However, the structure that makes them so fascinating is better seen up close on the ridge. The rock is sedimentary and exhibits a phenomenon known as bedding, where sediments are laid down in progressive stages and layers are eroded away over time. Here, a surface that was once subject to tidal currents complete with the giveaway ripples is preserved in the exposed layer and tilted by mountain building forces to form the cliffs we see today. It's impressive enough viewed from above, but there are scrambling routes on the cliffs which must be even more spectacular. There's, there's two, two climbers, well, two people scrambling up, up the ridge there. It was quite exciting. And it's... Uh, it's quite an exciting uh, situation actually. I'm not going to go too far to the edge, but uh, wow, what an incredible view. 
and uh, looking straight down to the depths of the Nam Francon Valley here. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, I've already taken a number of photographs, but while we've got this uh, cloud cover moving in with the uh, with the sunlight, I'm just going to uh, get some more photos. But what I think what I plan to do is just uh, walk across the ridge there. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's like a, a cairn. It's probably a probably a circular circular shelter. I'll probably head for that, and that's probably as far as I'll go on this hike because uh, what I have to be conscious of is my uh, my knees because they're not in the best condition and I've got to get back down as well so I've made it to the, to the top of the ridge and it's flat walking most of the way so that's uh, that's good so I'm going to uh, take some more pictures of the uh, of this cliff face then I'll climb over this uh, ladder style over the other side of this wall and then I'll start uh, I'll start heading off over the ridge lovely light over there now as well so uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get on with uh, taking some photos, and I'll catch you in a bit. Well, I've just been uh, taking some more photos of that amazing cliff face. Uh, now I've come a bit further away from it. Uh, it's even more expansive than it was when I was uh, close into it. So that's been uh, really amazing to see that. And I'm uh, making my way along uh, along the top of the ridge now. Uh, I'm going to head towards the uh, the circular cairn, get a little bit of shelter there, and uh, get some more photography done. The light uh, conditions are are really good; they come and go, so uh, just have to be ready with the camera. And I'm I am going uh, handheld today, just for the nature of the uh, the conditions. I did bring a tripod, but I haven't used it. Could have left that behind, but uh, yeah, what a fantastic place! So I'll uh, I'll make tracks and I'll uh, catch you at the uh, at the other summit can. I'm really glad this uh, this circular summit shelter is here because it's uh, it is quite windy out outside, if that's the right word. But wow, what amazing conditions up here and. Uh, really couldn't have wished for better weather really better conditions so let's uh, spin the camera around and let's uh, let's have a look see what we can see right apologies for loss of audio due to wind noise but I'll do my best but uh, what an epic place so the uh, the pointer hill in the, the immediate foreground is uh, Voilgok and the hill behind that is uh, Igarn and we've got uh, fantastic views down into the Ogwen Valley, Glidders, Trifan, Penarolwen and uh, that's the way I've come from up there on uh, Carno de Villiast. Um, let's do a full 360 and uh, there is Elidia Vower. Look at that over there, I don't know whether you can make it out actually because it's overexposed but uh, there's fantastic layering. Um, in fact let me just stop this and adjust the exposure just for a second. Right, I still don't think that's going to come out on the video but uh, I'll insert some footage from my uh, from my other camera to go into there but we've got this fence line with the uh, ladder style and fantastic layering of hills receding off into the background it's absolutely amazing and uh, the sunlight coming and going on the uh, the ridge leading up to Egan has been absolutely fantastic as well as has the light on the crags on Penarolwen as well which is uh, being picked out in spectacular fashion I mean, what more can you say about about this place? It's just fantastic, and there is literally nobody here. It's granted, it's Sunday. I guess Saturday is a more popular day, but uh, because I've come up from um, Clamberis, 
on the northern end of the Glider Ridge. Nobody comes up here and uh, I don't know why because just look at the views. Now I've climbed all these mountains before years ago and uh, it's great to be on those mountains but I think what's better for me now is these quieter ridges where you get fantastic views of the mountains that you've uh, that you've climbed and climbed before so that's what I prefer to do is uh, find the quieter hills that have got views of the more popular summits and the quieter hills are often um, often lower as well although I believe I'm about 800 meters up I think so it's pretty high but I'm not going to go any further than further than this so I'm going to head back to the uh, the little circular shelter finish my hot chocolate get some uh, grain bars and then I'll think about um, making my way back but I just want to uh, take loads more photos because it's just uh, absolutely fantastic so there we are I'll speak to you in a bit I struck lucky with the conditions today because you can never really be certain of the weather up here. Had the cloud base been 100 metres lower, it would have been a completely different day altogether. From the images I took, I've got a selection that nicely describes a hike in the mountains, in the weather conditions that show them at their best. There are one or two in the collection that I'm really pleased with, but all of them tell a really nice story, I think. All of the images were shot handheld because the light is so fleeting there just isn't time to adapt when using a tripod. So instead I took advantage of the, uh, the optical image stabilisation in favour of uh, using a tripod. In terms of equipment, I use my Fuji X-T30 and the XF 18-55 lens in the interest of saving weight. The lens is meant to be Fuji's kit lens, but that label does it a disservice since it's widely regarded as a superb lens and is particularly good for shooting video too. Certainly I didn't feel I was losing out by taking this in favour of the 16-80 f4. That lens has a slightly longer reach, which it turned out I didn't really need today anyway. Right then, that's uh, that's me done for today. I think I'm going to start to head back now. It's getting a bit cold up here, so I'll uh, just take a gentle uh, wander back. Uh, don't want to uh, trip up on the descent or anything like that, so I'll just uh, take my time, make sure I get back down safely. But the light is still fantastic up here. I could literally stay up, stay up here all right through to sunset, but. Uh, I've got uh, I've got all the pictures that I, I think I want, so uh, I'm happy I'm happy with that more than happy. In fact, it's been absolutely amazing. But once again, absolutely epic up here. 
So it was time to say goodbye to the mountains and make my way back down, but what a stunning day in the hills it had been, particularly since I hadn't been this high for quite a while. The perfect conditions to get reacquainted with the Welsh mountains. Well I'm going to sign off now, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you, uh, if you want to see more content like this and if you uh, hit the notification bell you'll get uh, reminded when I upload new videos. So uh, with that thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.